Welcome to Tara's multi-part educational video series on critical environments. In later videos, we'll discuss the common sources of clean room contamination, how clean rooms are classified, and how to select the right clean room for your application. In this video, we'll outline proper gowning procedures, as well as the Terra Universal equipment you'll need to protect your room from cross-contamination. First, let's define some of the terms referenced in this video. What is a clean room? A clean room is a controlled, isolated environment devoid of pollutants like dust, microbes, and airborne particles. Clean rooms are designed to house manufacturing or R&D operations in the pharmaceutical, medical, aerospace, and electronics industries. How does a clean room work? Clean rooms circulate outside air through a filtration system containing HEPA or OPA filters to remove contaminants from the air system. The clean filtered air is then forced into the clean room through ceiling mounted fans. How are clean rooms classified? The International Standards Organization, or ISO, categorizes clean rooms based upon the quantity of particles per cubic foot of air. The cleanest classification, ISO 3, denotes an environment containing one particle per cubic foot. The least rigorous classification, ISO 8, specifies an atmosphere containing 10,000 particles per cubic foot. The ISO classification of a clean room is validated by particle measurements performed with a benchtop or handheld particle counter. How do I protect my clean room from contamination? Let's take a look at the most common sources of particle influx or cross-contamination. Since the clean room staff is the primary source of contamination, reducing foot traffic into the clean room helps to limit particle influx. Utilizing a pass-through chamber for sample or equipment transfer limits the number of people entering and exiting the clean room. Unsuitable furniture featuring hard-to-clean pockets where dust and debris collect is another common source of contamination. Terra's biosafe furniture includes rounded corners for easy cleaning, open surfaces to promote laminar airflow, and no cracks or crevices where microbes gather. Specialized equipment can provide additional safeguards against clean room contamination. Automatic doors prevent the staff from touching door handles. Sticky floors protects the clean room from wheel-borne contaminants. Isolated biosafe carts comply with strict clean room requirements. However, the most common source of clean room contamination is improper gowning procedures. We carry particles on our skin, in our hair, and on our clothing. Wearing unsuitable attire or skipping steps in the gowning process can quickly lead to contaminated work areas, product failures, or clean room shutdowns. The first step in this process involves identifying and sourcing the appropriate garments. Keep in mind, you'll use different garments depending on the clean room ISO classification. For ISO 7 or ISO 8 clean rooms, clean room frocks along with shoe covers, masks, and a single pair of gloves are usually acceptable. However, a clean room classified as ISO 6 or cleaner calls for more coverage. Typically, coveralls made from non-woven materials like Gore-Tex or Tyvek along with hoods, double gloves, and booties. Before we begin, let's look at the two most important principles for preventing contamination during the gowning process. First, you should never let clean surfaces come in contact with dirty ones. This means never touching clean garments or materials until you've washed your hands thoroughly and donned clean gloves. You must keep garments away from the floor and other dirty surfaces. Second, as you proceed through the gowning process, you must start at the top and work your way down. Let's start at the beginning. The first critical step of the gowning procedure is to clean your street shoes before entering the gowning room. Terra's automated shoe cleaner includes a HEPA-filtered internal vacuum system with multiple rotating brushes that remove particles from deep inside the shoe seams. You should install this device at the entrance of your gowning room alongside sticky mats that remove fine particles from the bottom of your shoes. After you've thoroughly cleaned your shoes, put on shoe covers to further minimize floor contamination. Ideally, just before you enter the gowning room. Once inside the gowning room, your next step is to thoroughly wash and dry your hands using Terra's no-touch hand washing and drying station. The quiet HEPA filtered hand dryer keeps your hands clean while eliminating the need for disposable towels. If needed, 
you can put glove liners on before your clean room gloves. To streamline this process, Terra has wall-mounted and freestanding dispensers that can accommodate gloves, liners, and many other kinds of disposable PPE. If your gloves are unwashed, another trip to the hand washing station may be required. Now that your hands are clean, you're ready to gown up. Again, starting at the top and working your way down. A well-designed gowning room will have some kind of demarcation between the clean floor and the dirty floor. For example, Terra's clean room gowning platform explicitly demarcates the clean area in white from the dirty area in blue. In our demonstration area, this biosafe gowning bench separates the clean side from the dirty side. Only clean laundered booties are allowed beyond the bench. This side of the bench is the dirty area where you can stand before you put on clean booties. Notice I keep all my reusable garments hanging inside Tara's garment and supplies cabinet. This setup includes one chamber with a hanging rod for frocks and coveralls, and a second with shelves for hoods, masks, and other supplies. Tara also offers models with a fan filtration system that uses a continuous stream of HEPA filtered air to wash particles from stored garments. For the clothing itself, clean room coveralls are available in a range of materials. Disposable coveralls are generally made from Tyvek, polypropylene, or a similar microporous material. Reusable garments are made of Gore-Tex or an application-specific fabric like Fedora Maxima ESD, which is designed for static-sensitive environments. First, you'll use a clean buffon to contain your hair. Men with beards will need a beard cover. Then you'll put on a reusable, freshly laundered hood and attach your face mask. Next, you can use a clean gowning bench or lean rail for support as you put on your coverall. Tara's gowning benches feature corner-free construction with tube tops to minimize particle accumulation and simplify cleaning. Make sure your coveralls don't touch the floor and that your hood is tucked inside the coverall. Lastly, you'll put on your clean room booties. Note that both booties and gloves should overlap the coverall. Benches should be cleaned with a sterile wipe after every use. Before you enter the clean room, do a final visual self-check to ensure you haven't missed anything. Tara's dual-sided mirror uses a frameless construction and an electro-polished stainless steel base for easy cleaning and positioning. The double plate glass allows personnel to perform self-checks on either side of the mirror. After completing these steps, you are now ready to enter the clean room. Facilities maintaining ISO 5 and cleaner conditions commonly install an air shower or filtered air curtain to remove any loose particles from personnel immediately prior to entering the clean room. For additional information, please visit Terra's technical blog on controlling clean room contamination or call the number on the screen to discuss your requirements with Terra's sales team. Stay tuned for additional videos in Terra's educational series on critical environments. In our next video, we'll explore the major considerations to keep in mind before purchasing a clean room.